your ball in the trees and then you live out the park. But if you've got a little time, then come and spend it with us. Cause now you're listening to the rough cut. Hello, 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 and welcome down to your favourite weekly golf podcast, The Rough Cut, where I am joined once again by my fellow beautiful co-hosts of Jacob, Kieran and Mick. We are coming to you across the airwaves live from Manchester, UK, and boy, oh boy, has it been quite the eventful week in golf. So we'll be looking back, we'll be looking forward, and we will also be looking at the greatest player to grace the game, Tiger Woods, absolutely Roasting us, um, which us and by us, I mean the whole YouTube golf community. I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying Kieran's terrible. Yeah, he was specifically <laughs> calling out us. Uh, so we'll get into that. We will talk about. Oh, thank you. We will talk about. Mick is just redressing me for anybody yeah. listening. Um, we will be talking about the BMW PGA Championship. We managed to go down and play in the Pro-Am, which was absolutely fantastic. Mm. Um, Justin Thomas seems to be um, kind of proving a few of his critics wrong. Uh, we also have the Gala win his first event and so much more. Guess the player, our award-winning quiz oh at God. the end of the podcast, um, is going to be finally back. He's it back. is back. We've, we... We were having a discussion in the car the other day about how many holes we think we've done, and it's literally only four. Mm. Yeah. Like Massive the last, rain delay. the last big big weather delay, and <laughs> so much weather has fallen on the original course that we've have to move course. Wow! Mm. Right. Okay. Um, the last time we had a guest to play around was at the Open mm. when we recorded in the oh, Foot really? Joy campsite. Yes. Wow. Can you now, Kieran? Can because wow. we t- yes. I tested him in the car the other day. I think I already had this conversation yeah, with Jacob yeah, yeah. also. Can you name the four players that we've had so far in order? Um, in order? Yeah. Mm, probably not. Okay. I think we've had L's, haven't we? Correct. Yeah. Oh, we've L's. had Nick Faldo. Yeah. Uh, have we had Sir Nick Faldo? We've had Sir yeah. Nick Faldo. Have we yeah. had Ernest yeah. L's? Did we have the Big Easy? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So hole one was the Big Easy. And then you had... Uh, then you had it was Nick Faldo. Nick, yeah. Mm. And then you had a, it was pre, it was the pre open, um, the open preview show. And it is a golfer who's only won the open once and then died. It, you know what? I'm, I'm really not for redoing the quiz. <laughs> all, all I want to know is who we've had so far. Um, ben Hogan. Fantastic. Great irons. Yeah. Um, and then we had at the open campsite, we had Matthew Jordan. Matt Jordan, yes, hometown yeah. favorite. That was it. So we've got we've got guest player coming up later on, but I, I think first of all, before we talk about tour golf, we should talk about golf success in our own lives, and that brings me round quite neatly to <laughs> Kieran winning a golf tournament. <laughs> Quite a big one, actually, to be fair, in, in terms of the Didsbury like <laughs> calendar. <laughs> the biggest Didsbury golf the, the tournament Didsbury, of the year. If, the Didsbury um, calendar is, if you are listening uh, from Utah, for example, you might not know that Didsbury is a golf course in the south of Manchester that has an absolutely prestigious reputation, especially in the four ball, better ball category, which is, I believe, the, uh, the, the tournament uh, you won. Well, two. Is two, two ball. So two ball, better ball. Two ball, better ball, yeah. Bevel, Bevel, yeah. Uh, what, what do we score? 45 points uh, I shot with Henry. Henry, uh, Shout out Henry, by yeah, the way. Henry's, Henry is an absolute Henry legend. Henry is a beautiful man. Really, really beautiful <laughs> man. I think, but can we, can we say that he carried the team by that compliment? Uh, no, no, I, no, I, no, no, I wouldn't say that at all. I think that I... Nice and humble of you. Yeah, no, no, no. I'd probably say that... Back yourself. I, yeah, I, gen- I generally will. I, I, I say that I probably played the best golf of the two of us. And But the holes where I didn't perform, he did. Going so that point. really, that that's, really, really helps. That's the trick to the we, uh, to the scramble yeah, or the better ball, isn't 100%, it? Hundred percent. We dovetailed beautifully. Was this um, a bit of cash in the shop at the end of this? Or I yeah. think so. Yeah, I spoke to the I spoke to the head pro there, and he was like, it was probably going to be about 60, 70 quid." So okay, it's Fantastic. great. Yeah, 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 how, yeah. Many, how many oh. Snickers bars you can get? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucas 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 flapjacks, you're going to fire down. Flapjacks you know? on me, boys. Next time, <laughs> <laughs> next time we're at the dinner, not sleeve balls, and Yeah, no, it's good. Like golf's. Golf's very good at the moment, so um, no, I'm looking. I'm really enjoying it. And you were saying that the reason you feel like you've kind of found your swing a little bit is because you're no longer trying to hide the fact that you aim your feet 39 and a half <laughs> yards right of the target at address. Yeah, and I see. I think the kind of Mac Boucher was a bit of an inspiration. I will say, like the fact that he just even when he was on the golf course at Wentworth, like, and he still sort of produced these shots and stuff like that through the trees and stuff like that. 
like it made me really inspired so yeah i was you know i was aiming far right slinging it right slinging yeah, it so, left sort of thing so, so kieran's working on this like controlled we would call it a controlled hook yeah oh yeah no, it's okay. a power it's a power hook yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, lo- yeah. We, and when it works yeah. it's lovely yeah, and yeah. henry who we played with a few times um, he is a, a pro- he's fade. a proponent of the power fade. <laughs> he's, oh, a wow. ma- okay. he's a massive <laughs> fader of the goblin. You literally don't talk to each other <laughs> yeah. all the way around. No, no, no. We were, we oh, were just <laughs> meet back in the yeah, middle. Yeah, we were yeah. fading just, it in in the middle. They're just so. hitting love hearts. All yeah, day love hearts all day. Yeah. 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 No, it was a, it was a beautiful, uh, beautiful day, and then we ended up going to, we went for lunch and. Went to quite a nice, uh, nice place. Uh, Juan, uh, San Bar Juan. San Juan. Yeah. Yeah. Went San to Juan. San Juan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, they went on a date. This is the thing. We literally like. So that was, by the way, for people listening in Texas, uh, San Juan <laughs> is a highly regarded Spanish tapas restaurant in uh, Chalton, also yeah. in South Manchester. Yeah. It is not. I repeat, it is not the type of venue that normally welcomes golfers after a round. No. Yeah, with a dog. Well, this yeah, with a dog as well. And this thing is that. Like, where did you find a dog? When Henry's got a dog, and we just kind of didn't expect. <laughs> was that the prize? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has anyone got a dog with the prize? <laughs> was that the prize? We didn't the e- board a collie waiting yeah. on the 18th. Oh, congratulations, lads. We didn't expect yeah, to. Yeah, I did spend a lot of time in the rough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Larry. Oh, very good, very good. Good. Yeah, no, we didn't, we didn't uh, expect to get in because it's quite a hot place. So, um, yeah, yeah, I was very, very surprised. Yeah, we're very, uh, very lucky to get in. Yeah, it's, like yeah, it's, a, it's normally like a book three months in yeah, advance. Oh, yeah. Hope they've got a table. Especially on the weekend. Spoke to him and said that. Like you know, listen, we've just won. I don't know if you know, but we've we just, won. Won. just won the two ball battle. <laughs> big deal. Free. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, um, yeah, I've no. got like eleven followers on Instagram. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't even know where uh, Hot Hand Henry. Yeah, it's quite the <laughs> devil with a putter. <laughs> yeah. So no, a, a very lovely weekend of golf. Yeah. Uh, excellent. So yeah, I'm glad some of you, some of us can enjoy some good golf. Um, yeah. Not yeah. not quite as good at the minute, but well, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah well, but that's that's beauty of it, isn't it? That is because, quite frankly, you two aren't getting out on the golf course. What That's you are true. doing is spending 12 hours a day playing <laughs> oh a Lord of the Rings game. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, don't, like, don't, don't be sitting here saying, oh God, if only I could get better. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah. yeah the, the only thing I've learned Knee to... Knee deep in Middle Earth right now. The only thing I've learned to swing this week has been, you know, the forged sword that I picked up in Bree. <laughs> God, yeah, as a, as a, to fill you in what was actually happening, me and Jacob are addicted to this game called Lord of the Rings Online, and you like create a little character and run around with other, and do um, quests. Other open world fantasy adventures are available. No, they're really not. No, they're not. <laughs> they're they're the really the best. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and I spent on Saturday morning. I spent about two and a half hours working my way through the the realms of the Northern Shire to find a place called the Old Lynx, which <laughs> looks like a Lynx golf course. <laughs> but there's like orcs running around. You can chop them down and get loads of XP and then buy loads of stuff. Yeah, so Didsbury. Now, what <laughs> <laughs> else <Pretty much. laughs> happened in the world of golf this weekend? I think, shall we talk about the, the BMW PGA as an event first and then maybe backtrack to what the pro mm, can do? Yeah, yeah sure, yeah. Um, so it actually ended up being a very, very dramatic finish with Ryan Fox. Um, coming through and winning after a clutch birdie on the last. I think the, the BMW, kind of the last three holes really, kind of set it up for being a very dramatic finish. It's a short par four. You can easily get a bit, well, get a birdie on there. And then two par fives to finish. The 17th was actually playing really tough. And then the 18th, I'm not saying everyone was birdieing it, but it, it was turning into an easier, yeah. an easier yeah. hole, definitely than the 17th. Um, Ryan Fox was leading pretty much going into the last hole and then Tyrrell Hatton drained one um, mm-hmm. to pull it back level. Then in the final group, Aaron Rye had a put for an eagle, mm-hmm. which lipped out. Then he was tied with Ryan Fox. Ryan Fox wedged it in to about four and a half foot. Little nervy one downhill, rolled it in yeah. for the win. And he very, ce- he, very nervous. He celebrated so very early as well. Oh, he like, knew. He knew. Yeah, he, he was knew. like... As soon as it came off the blade, he was like, oh, yeah. oh I've won. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ryan Fox for a long time has been, he, he should, he, he's one of those, you know how we speak about like there's golfers who strike the ball, it sounds different. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's one, one of those. Yeah. Right, okay. They're just sneaky that no one talks about. He's, but. He, yeah. he's just so, he's, he's not so inconsistent, but as far as like, a, he, he's not 
he doesn't have the consistency of a, yeah. a raw. We say who's like never outside yeah. the top. I 15. suppose right. that he was kind of like pinpointed as just someone who just whacks it far off the tee to start with, and I mean, now he's kind of come through and shown his all-round game. He does is, do that. Though. Oh, he does also do that. <laughs> yeah, which he, does help as well. He does have a look. You, you, the uh, the left foot is an interesting one for me because he feels feels like he's like very uh, open, isn't he? I mean, I'm going to cause a bit more work here for Kieran, but we'll, we'll throw up an image if you are watching this. If you if you're listening to this, you're not watching it. We do have YouTube channels where you can go subscribe to the Rough Cut Golf Podcast. But if you are watching this, we'll throw up an impact position of Ryan Fox. It's it is unique. Yeah. So mm-hmm. weird. Yeah. On a, he, the way that, and that's one of the reasons why he absolutely crushes it. Uh, but it's also one of the reasons why he's very inconsistent. Because yeah. you can imagine at impact all the moving parts. Yeah, that's not here. right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but even so, like his putting has not been a strength. And he had a couple of chances to get... Um, Birdies on both 16 and 17. Left them just a little bit tentative, in the lip, basically, wasn't it? Yeah. And I was thinking on that last green, that is not. If you're nervous, that is not the putt you want. Are you, are you telling me that he managed to leave some putts short on those <laughs> greens? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what on earth? I suppose putting downhill, it was. It is going to be harder to not leave it short. So. True. True. <laughs> yeah. If if you are someone who struggles to give your putts a firm whack and you want a bit of help from the greens, it's Alan, when was probably not Tommy place Fleetwood to on the final round. Oh, oh God, mm. Tommy, 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 Tommy. The first, yeah, the first two days, you're like, I. When he's playing like that, I kind of don't want to text you and be like, oh my God, Fleet was going to win. <laughs> like, I don't want to celebrate. I don't want to post on Instagram saying Fleet was got this because you know exactly what's going to happen is it's going to yeah. get to the end of the third round and you, you'll start to see the wobbles a little bit and then it'll fall apart at the right of the death. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunately coming a little bit of a, of a pattern now for Tommy that he gets into positions in the f- first three days and then that final round, especially the putter, goes oh. really, really cold. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it's just... Is, it's proof that he can do it. Do you oh, know what I mean? Like the first two days, he's, he's just golfer, unreal. But he's just, maybe it's in he his head. He's first, like, I'm just three days. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it also feels like he just doesn't go for the pins as well. Like his proximity to the hole is, you know, his putting is bad, but yeah. it's because he's not close to the that, hole. That could be, that like, could be the answer to say, all, well, instead of just, you know, he, this, is the, this is the strength of his game, just attack pins and then give yourself. But to be fair, he, it wasn't like he was not, he was, he still was, yeah, he was giving himself was, 10, was 15 footers, shots. but he just, mm. He just was leaving so many putts yeah, short the, the and then peop- going long. It was the people that go and finish those end up four or five feet, like Ryan Fox on the last, yeah. instead yeah, of yeah. ten or twelve. Uh, it's it's tricky because like when you get to the when you get to the the top of I'm, I'm speaking. Yeah, from tell, us what, it's, tell um, us what it's tell us. Tell us what it's like at the when top. You're at the <laughs> I'm speaking. You're looking down. very much from an observer here. <laughs> Do you mean of golf as, skill as, in this office? As somebody. <laughs> As somebody who's watched a lot of professional golf and been up close and personal with the world's best players, when you actually start to get <laughs> at the top of leaderboard, we are talking like we're talking a few shots difference over the course of a tournament mm. that actually separates it. So in reality, like it's only a few putts. Yeah. So you know we're talking. It end up hitting like two hundred and eighty or between two hundred and seventy and three hundred yeah, shots so, over the course of the week. So, so Tommy Fleetwood, he shot sixty nine, sixty six, sixty seven, and a seventy two on the final day. Oh, so level so par, not what you want. Four, um, shot, four shots difference from. Yeah, and and Fox shot sixty nine, sixty eight, sixty six. So basically, and then six seven on the final round, like. We are talking over the course of that tournament. We're not even talking birdie puts, talking like safe parts, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah, and yeah, not yeah. doubles. So you've got to look at it in that context. But with Tommy, it does seem to be that when it comes to that final round, the putter does just go cold. And mm. you never, nobody is going to win a lot on tour because there's so many good players. Yeah. But Tommy just puts himself in that position so consistently. You're just hoping for him to get over yeah, like, the line you know, a little bit more. One day, one you know, one tournament, he'll just he'll continue that form into the final day, and it, it will finally tick over. And you'll you know put, put a nice little line next to mm. have you won on the tour. Um, yeah, but it, but it, just it, you just can't do it it's at diffi- the moment. It's difficult, even for the very best players in the world. This is the key here. It's difficult for even them to figure out sometimes. Yeah. Like what will give you that extra edge? What will cause you to hold those putts? Yeah, I hadn't even thought I hadn't even thought about what you just said about the reason that maybe his putting stats don't look good is because mm. he's just not close enough to the hole yeah, in no, the first I, place. Yeah. Like a lot of the times, you know, you see him throughout the whole sort of Friday, Saturday, uh well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like goes for it, attacks the pins. But then on a Sunday, just it's just different. Like he's just different. Uh, his brain, maybe his brain is like protect what you've yeah, got instead weird. of keep yeah. playing the way you're playing. Just sort of defense and then maybe let other people 
sort of make a mistake. Like Aberg made a mistake um, sort of early on, and then he was second all of a sudden. Mm. And then sort of people came through and stuff like that. Like Tyrrell came through. Tyrrell, by the way, like through six holes, birdied five through six and three putted the fourth to make a par. Like it's unreal. Yeah, he, I mean, was he was playing so seven, well. Seven birdies for eleven holes. Or yeah, something it was like. he, yeah, he was he was playing some very good golf. Yeah. To- Tommy is he is he is an interesting one for sure. Like and it, you, I don't disagree with you that, that he probably needs to maybe attack more on final days. But there were so many times like he on the tenth, the par three mm. tenth, and he stuck that. He hit this awesome shot in, stuck it to about three foot, and he had to hit it outside the hole, albeit. But this putt he hit was so poor. Mm. The stroke looked off. He didn't. He, he was almost like a push rather than mm. not not in terms of pushing it, but yeah, sort of yeah. like trying but to like shove it like, there. Yeah, he just didn't want to hit the putts, and yeah, it's like uh, almost a bit yippy. Yeah. So yeah. It, it should be said that um, Tommy led the field in strokes gained approach to the green. Yeah, uh, two point five eight. Now that's over the four round, so I don't know. Yeah, obviously he was, uh, bloody, he was so win. bloody good in the first but three days that so it he, didn't make a difference that the, he didn't go anywhere near it. On the so he on was the first in approach uh, to the greens. He was first strokes tee to green. He was first in greens regulation, and he was first in greens under regulation. Hmm. And um, then, oh, the whole screen just, we're looking at Pete's red. computer, the whole screen but, just went red when you clicked on So, party. But then his put, puts per round was 30.75. Now that put him 126th in the field. Whoa. So yeah. you, you can see he's just not had overall a good putting week there. Mm-hmm. So even if he'd have had an average putting week, he'd, he'd probably mm-hmm. have won quite easily. Yeah. So it's, it's difficult to kind of put your finger on. And when you look at the stats like that, generally the, the stats don't lie. And you got to probably look at those first before you start forming full opinions. Yeah, but like what, or trying to think about how to solve a problem that you don't even know what the problem is yeah, yet. Yeah. But, but it, as you say, there is points to like, there is context and you kind of have to understand that just because, you know, you, you might three putt or two putt, but the reason you might be doing that is because you're not hitting it closer to the hole, as yeah, you say. So yeah, it's just yeah, kind yeah. of understanding that yeah. actually there's two ways of going about things. Yeah, it's like, well, you might not be a bad putter, you might be just having too many putts because... <laughs> Hmm. I mean, it, it 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 goes without saying that, like, realistically, though, all these guys are not bad putters. No, like, no, they're still very they're, good. They're all you don't you don't com- get there without without yeah. learning how to do it a little bit. Like, people have different strengths, but like, they're all good putters. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, it's just that some players, when it really matters, seem to be able to get the ball in the hole more than mm. more than others. That's why, obviously, Tiger was. It's all know. up top. One hundred percent, it's all up mm. top for him. It's got to be, hasn't it? Because he's mm. proved he can do it. It's all up yeah. top. It's all up. It's in his noggin. I'll tell you what it was. It was wonderful to actually see Abo play. That was the first time I've ever seen him hit a goal. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we, we, we were watching him tee off on the phone while we were... Uh, yeah. Where were we going? We were going to Walton Heath, maybe? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, 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 been, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Kieran was like, oh, his swing's actually really good. Yeah, I was yeah. like, he's not going to get the Ryder Cup team. No, he doesn't hit the ball straight. Yeah, never there's seen been, him hit it. There's been, there's been quite a few as well. Like not not just like as far as like us who watch golf, but like a lot of the players were saying that they've never seen him hit. Yeah. Because the only, the only one he's played DP he's World been, Tour Hasn't he been, only been a pro since the beginning yeah, of the year? exactly. So <laughs> you've got obviously a player, there's a lot of hype. He's obviously won in Switzerland, yeah. comes mm. here. So a lot of the players in the Ryder Cup team, a lot of the players on DP World Tour were saying, like, we've not even seen him here. But and, and listen, everyone everyone's won in Switzerland, right? <laughs> yeah. You've, yeah. Yeah, I've won there. Yeah, yeah. okay, good, yeah. yeah, yeah just but no, it's, it's great. Like, he, he whacks it. Like, he proper whacks it and swings it. Swings it fast. It's, it was lovely to see. Yeah, very, uh, very, very, very impressed with him. He had a little bit of a bad last day, 76, but mm. like we'll we'll let him off with a win and a top 10. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll, we'll take it going into yeah. Ryder Cup build-up. It's just like how commendable it is to him that he's gone through, how quickly he's gone through the game of golf and mm. how to the top of the game of golf, at least in the public eye. Yeah. And then also gone into this week after the back of winning, after going into the Ryder Cup, after having critics say he shouldn't be there, mm. and then go and lead the the competition after three yeah. days. Now, it just that also shows the kind of mental capacity he's got. Can we have a small word about Moronk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, because he, that uh, wh- the f- isn't like the first day or second day he was like six under, right up at the top. No, yeah, um, yeah, he was yeah. there or thereabouts. And yeah. we were yeah. like. Oh, now we made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially when uh, we did a very big I think Nick, Nikolai was like four over <laughs> yeah, after yeah, the yeah, first yeah, day. Yeah. And right. then he came and shot like a seven under on the yeah, second day. He was, oh, you, you can play golf. We're yeah. starting to think about how yeah. how we should have made, well, I mean, speaking as if I made the decision, but how Luke Donald should have, you know, maybe thought about that one yeah. a little harder. And well, then, you know, Aberg came through. And I mean, all in all, 
every single Ryder Cup player got through to the weekend, which yeah. is, it was great to see. Excellent news. Uh, think, I, sorry, go on. Sorry, what was even more impressive is that nine of the of the 12 got top 20. So, there you go. So, so, yeah. so that was, that's, you know, that is definitely a positive to take. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it is going to be an amazing Ryder Cup and I think the team overall is is shaping up pretty well. I'm, I'm still very much in Camp Moronk. You know, <laughs> I, am, I have yeah. climbed Mount yeah, Moronk yeah. and I'm looking over <laughs> and... The view yeah. Mount Moron. It, is, it looks the good. You know it's fantastic. Sounds like a real mountain. It does, yeah. yeah. It will be. <laughs> yeah, after P- that. Poland will rename <laughs> yeah. their tallest mountain after Adrian. Comment, so. below, comment below Poland's tallest mountain. <laughs> yeah, after that first day when um, Hoygaard was there, like plus four, I was like, oh, oh my God. God. But then, to be fair, like they showed a lot of um, Hoygaard, obviously, because he was with Ram and um, Hatton, I'm pretty sure. Um, very impressive second day. And very like, impressive second kudos day. Kudos to him as well, because one thing... Obviously, we were talking a lot about Morocco missing out and how bad it was, but like it was basically Hoygaard, Nikolai had that on his shoulders as well. Yeah, like true. He yeah. was Definitely. the guy who got in instead. Yeah. And after that first round, he must have been a little bit yeah, on it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So to come back and actually shoot that score was very, yeah, very, very, good. very like shows maturity, really, doesn't it? For someone who's still quite young and yeah. early, early in their golf career to have that kind of pressure on them and then still perform just like he's going to have to do at Ryder Cup. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. good it's, news for us. It's unfair to him, isn't it? Because it's not like anyone's come out and said like it was him or Moronk. Like we don't really know. It could yeah, have been no. him or someone but that else. Was just but everyone like, else's, it's just natural, yeah. Yeah, just yeah, kind yeah. of, oh, mm. it was going to be one or the other. And then he's got all this so weight on his shoulders. I, I, I kind of had it as Aberg was that player who had got in instead of Moronk. But yeah. Yeah, it's all the same, That's the, the same it, job. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe they're taking Rory McIlroy <laughs> over Moronk. Well, yeah, if you hadn't qualified automatically, <laughs> we'd be having this absolutely, conversation. Absolutely diabolical. We'd be having this conversation. Worst choices ever made. So anyway, well done, Ryan Fox. Um, an unlucky Aaron Ryan. Oh, yeah. God, that was such a close one. Rory's yeah. frustrating. Is another one, though, that's frustrating. Like, he is one of those that will have, like, three unbelievable days and then just have a very average day that puts him so far mm. behind him. For him, that first day was probably it, first and second mm. day. Um, but, yeah, like, like that last day, watching him on the last day is just... So good. Free, yeah. free is flow so, Rory is. He is yeah. so good. The problem being that he needs to be able to switch that on much earlier in the tournament. Yeah. Like Fleetwood needs to be able to keep his free flowing mm. play from day one, two, and three. Rory needs to be able to have that from day dot and not have to warm up uh, into yeah. it. R- Rory's, Rory for me is like the most, he's still in many respects incredibly underrated. Like what we're talking about him, like he was playing without a left arm like without his head screwed on, <laughs> like he was playing golf that, you know, just wasn't making any sense. And he's finished seventh. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, but, yeah, like but you, at the start, he was eight shots back. Yeah, but you cannot, you cannot afford to, you have to go under par, under par, under par, under par. There's no, yeah. there's no excuse. You cannot shoot par and then one under on the first two days and expect to be right at the top because people are shooting 64s yeah, and 65s. Like he's, he's top 10 yeah. in a really strong we, field. He's kind of at the top. Yeah. We, we know we're talking well, about Well, no, because there's other people above him. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> but we, we're talking about like golf. Golf is like, yeah. it's such a weird sport because it's not a game that you're going to spend a lot of time winning. Like yeah. nobody does. Yeah. Like you can obviously look at City and go. Apart from Kieran. You can look at, <laughs> like, apart from Kieran. you can look at like Man City and say, you know, they are obviously the best team in the league because they're winning every week. But there's literally, there's going to be one winner out of that game or a draw, obviously. But it's a lot easier to say that they're incredibly good. They're the best team because they're winning, winning, winning. Mm-hmm. Rory McIlroy finishing top 10 in a field like this is, it's not a win, but it's its a lot better than a draw, yeah. a lot better if, than a loss. If only, yeah, there was some, if only there was some season-long system where you accrued points for with yeah. finishing at the top of the table and then were rewarded for those points at the end of, with a large championship. Mm. And he's going number one in the uh, race to Dubai. Yeah. yeah. The, the, by the way, the, the prize money in this was... Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Popping, wasn't it? Look yeah. at that. I think wow. I think tied seventy second was like twelve grand. Do you think they? Take it. Yeah, <laughs> I'd snatch your arm. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you think they had a whip round that went with went round the houses with a bucket? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, shaking on the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got yeah. Some yeah, could. Mm. Doris, do we need a third pool? Or can we, <laughs> oh, we can donate. So, oh, we can? Great. It's right. 20 million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's your prize. Are we really using these gold plates? <laughs> you imagine if that was your way of getting onto the Wentworth estate. It's like, yeah, you can live here, but you've got a front, you got front up for one year. <laughs> <laughs> the prize pool. Yeah. <laughs> worse than Augusta. You actually have to, you, you're, yeah. The winnings, that's coming out of your pocket. And do you know what's you, worse? Yeah. Aaron Rye is going to get some of that money. So... <laughs> 
What do you not like RRI? Don't wear two gloves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Aaron's such a nice guy. Yeah, don't wear two gloves. I'm just saying. Don't. Mm-mm. Don't have head covers for your irons. Don't wear two gloves. <laughs> I, I really like Aaron Rice Wing. Yeah, no, I think he's very I, good. I, I, I think he's very love good. Aaron Rice Wing. Yeah, you don't just don't like it. him because he's an individual. You just want everyone to conform. I want everyone to have long hair. And to you, you read 1984 and looked at that as a manual, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I was like, a hundred percent. Everyone's is, this is <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is life. This sounds great. <laughs> let's do it. Let's make, right. let's make Tommy the president. <laughs> <laughs> um, one amazing thing about the PJ week, though, and we will kind of might as well have a chat about this now is. The pro am, which happens on the Wednesday, oh, yeah, that it, did happen, didn't it? It's the biggest. I, I mean, I'd, I'd say it's probably the biggest pro am in the world. Is definitely the best attended as far as yeah. spectators go. And we play in it this year, last year, and then a couple of years before that. Third time's a charm, and it was we yet won. again an amazing. <laughs> yeah. God. It was an amazing event. Now that video is going to be coming out this week, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So we won't. T- we won't tell you like the full result, but. Managed to have a really good team play with Jordan Smith as our pro, who is a just unbelievable ball striker. Oh, and so a lovely, pure. lovely man. And such a nice guy. Very, very man. nice. The it's got annoying when that happens, isn't it? Yeah, mm. God. Don't be He's nice so, and good at so golf. Talent. God, oh. you make me oh. sick with your talent. <laughs> um, it was my first time at a like inside the ropes mm. or and you know like walking a course uninterrupted mm-hmm. with a tour pro. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. It's yeah. so different. Like we get to walk around with you all the time, which is great. And you are very good at golf. But there is well a complex <laughs> Yeah, well done. There is a completely different way. Again, the sound, yeah. the kind of like it, it was just wild. Mm. He was ve- like so so good. Well, yeah, not though. only were you walking, you were caddying. Mm. Yeah. You were in amongst it. Yeah, it was you, you handle yourself very well, Mick, I have to say. Oh really? Yeah. Well that's good to hear. I, I was <laughs> oh, very really? nervous. I was oh, bloody yeah. good old dumb trying to get my wet with house <laughs> um no i was very nervous i was very very nervous um because not only it was weird because normally when we walk around a golf course i have like an actual job to do like get you on film make sure we don't miss anything this time i had a job to do but it was much less to do you're with, a mule yeah i was like carry pete's bag and he says 60 give him 60 yeah. it was it was a, a very easy day um for me um, but yeah, it was very, very strange. Mm. Very odd. Yeah, it was, it was because we normally tee off in the morning. So there's two waves, shotgun mm. star. We teed off in the afternoon wave this time. Um, and normally what would happen is we tee off at 8 a.m. And by the time we got round nine holes, that's when it starts to get yeah. busy. Yeah. This time it was like busy from straight, the start. Straight yeah. away. Yeah. And, it main, and it maintained it pretty much to the end. The only difference was this year... Obviously, by the time it was getting to about half six, a few people had <laughs> oh been God, yeah. having alcoholic beverages refreshments <laughs> um, throughout the day. And a couple of lighted ales. Yeah, boy, oh boy, the IPA was certainly starting to show. Um, <laughs> it was getting a little bit raucous out there. In, in, you know what? In, in actually a, in quite a, good a nice way. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah, it, wasn't, nice. it wasn't aggressive. No, no, it was, it was actually quite yeah. a nice way. And the amount of people that came up, I mean, we, we played with uh, Logan Diong and Mac Boucher as well as the other two in the four ball. Yeah, unreal. So it was a good it was a good group, all playing off scratch, obviously. So it was a nice vibe, some okay golf being played at mm. times. Mm. Um, Jordan the, Smith. Jordan Smith. <laughs> yeah. well, Jordan. But the amount of people, like the amount of people we said hello to and like took selfies with and yeah. all the rest of it yeah. was it was unbelievable. Yeah. Like I, I, I got to be honest, like I spent most of that round. I can't really remember yeah, that in many a, shots because in, in a days, yeah, because it was just, just like so wild running from like side to side on the fairway. Like it was incredible to meet so many people. So if you did say hello, yeah, massive thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Um, kudos to. I've signed some unusual things this time around. Yeah. Yeah. I've never signed a water bottle before. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good. Never signed the strap of an eye watch before. That was a new one. Okay. It's called an Apple watch, not an eye watch. Other yeah, watches we'll are available. Um, it's particularly shot scope. Yeah. Yeah, that is a weird one. Yeah. And then also a, a child's head. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. I forgot about that. this. So, uh, we were on the. That so was, the, that wor- wasn't <laughs> the worst bit for the not worst because it was obviously it's great that that like you, get, you get to meet people yeah so the, the the craziest bit was between the green and the next tee they had these like little funnels and of course people know that you've got to walk through it so yeah. they're all stood there trying to get pictures trying to get you know Pete, Pete to sign stuff which is great we bolt through you guys are following him with the camera we're on the next tee you know talking about what's just happened talking about what the next shot looks like and from behind me 
as we're preparing, someone goes, oh, Pete's signing a kid's head. And I was like, do not sign a kid's head. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. And I turned around and the kid was wearing a hat <laughs> on his head that Pete was signing. So be specific. Yeah, it was fine. I slipped onto his ear a bit. Yeah. It was fine. It's only Sharpie. It'll wash up eventually. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, it was oh, a great day. That was very, very cool. Good day. That good weather as well. That always helps. Yeah. Oh, we got so lucky. You know, that, that hole was probably a perfect uh, example of kind of what that problem was about. So signing a child's head, get to the tee, <laughs> and it's a... It is very much not a drive off it's that tee. It's water at like... It's wa- water two, at 300 yards. 280, uh, ish, yeah, ish. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's basically 300, I think it was, or 290 something. Yeah. And it's, it, it's like a little dog to the right. You just hit an iron onto the fairway. <laughs> And it's fine. Do you know what's wild is that like I had started to take my caddy duties like quite seriously. Like I had, we prepped on the way there. I was mm-hmm. like, this is what Pete should hit <laughs> off each of these tees. <laughs> this is the distance that we'll have then into the green. We've got to favor this side of the fairway or this, this is the miss, you know, whatever. And I had actually got out your hybrid. And I was like, just hit an easy hybrid. Put it back, boy. <laughs> <laughs> just just get us to back. like two, Put four, it back. get us to like 230, 240, and then we'll have an eight iron in and we'll be right next to the bin. <laughs> yeah, as, as, as soon as we were like, you know, it's like 300 yards to clear the ditch, we're like, okay, cool. <laughs> There's three of us. Like, well, as you say, it's the perfect way to do scramble. Jordan Smith hit a great tee shot, yeah. as he would, as you'd expect, yeah, and put sense. it into 1A for them. But then it's just an opportunity for all the three of you to just give it a whack. Whack. And you, all three of you hit it within about we, we'll <laughs> five clear the ditch, like, feet of each other. Yeah, it's yeah. quite unbelievable. Well, you know, I was about 12 yards ahead. Yeah, that's but. true. Okay, we, don't, we don't talk about that. We, don't talk we didn't about take it. your driver. No, we didn't. No, <laughs> no. no. He's just too big. Just went into the Just went out. Just too big. Too big. Too strong. Duffed your chip, though. I'm kidding. No, you didn't. That was actually my best chip. That was my best struck one. Like every other's fine. You know, you could rip into it, but not that one. It was a good pin as well. It was like there was a big ridge and then it was a tough pin. I thought that was the toughest pin on the course. Of course it was. But if you do want to catch the full course walk of that, we filmed everything and also a moment of controversy. Oh my God. It's forgotten. No, I'm not, we're not. We're not. Oh, God. We're not. Going, I, we're not going to get into it. We're not going to get into it, Mick, because I don't want you being angry for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, I almost okay. caused a scene. So I'm glad that we're not talking about it now because I can feel the anger rising yeah. in my eyes. All <laughs> I'll say is it, it is well documented in the video. So go and watch the video yeah. to see. But my boy, it was. Watch, watch, watch to the end. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, it literally hurts me just we to got think blocked. about it. <laughs> um. But so much pain. Apart from that, what a fantastic day. Um, we also filmed a couple of videos when we were down there oh, we um, at the Berkshire, not the Berkshire, uh, <laughs> with my swing crush, Lewis Sparrow. So that oh. was fantastic. And then we played the unbelievable Walton Heath the day yes. after mm. on, I would mm. say, maybe the best day of the year. Yeah. That, that, did we pay for that weather? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like the, last, the last two weeks in the UK, we've had our summer. Like yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's done. That was it. Yeah. Those three days in, in Surrey were were the summer for us yeah and then we got back and it's pissing down again oh, so. it, at the um kind of it was in yorkshire this um this weekend oh how was that we didn't even ask you about it how yeah, was it yeah no thanks um <laughs> it was it was lovely it was kind of so yeah. yeah we had a we had a fantastic time there's a cocktail bar there called pepitos mm. or papitos something like that did you spend yeah. some time in there um so <laughs> I, 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 I just want to I just want to shout out that uh, this, this has never happened to me, okay? And it it wasn't just customer service. Someone said to you, hey, are you Rick Shields? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely That's very nice. Huh? <laughs> um, it was after, basically after the day, we just had a few to eat. We went into this bar and we had a few drinks. And this guy, the owner... Mr. Pepitos, I imagine. <laughs> of course. Um, comes, that's how that's comes, always works. Comes over and says, oh, it was it was great to meet him. I've got a chat to him. Um, you know, if you're ever back in Harrogate, you know, come in again. It'd be great to see you. So left. And we're on our way back the night after. I said, oh, shall we just pop in for one more? No. So we went in there. He said, oh, you know, Local. how were you How were you from last night? What did you get on with? Remember that Carl is wearing this stupid hat. I won't get into that. But... It's a beautiful hat, should I say? Um, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. And we had a, had a bit more chat to him, spend the night there. I chat to all his staff, and at the end, he like comes up to us. He said, "It's been amazing to meet these next few days," and literally like hugged us out of the bar. So the owner of this bar just came over, like gave us some really good hugs, and was like, "It's just been fantastic to see you." Next time, please come and visit us. So you actually, so hold on, you weren't, you didn't, and it's not you like weren't it's, just a patron. You were a friend. Yeah, at the and, end. and I just want to. 
point out here, it's not like we spent that much on drinks. Like we had like <laughs> one the first like maybe two the next. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as if you've paid their yeah, payroll for the next six months. Are you sure you didn't yeah. draw another zero we when you had your tip or something? <laughs> like, we are not gold one of those members shot, now. One of those shots was like one of that 280 quid whiskey that David wanted yeah, to have. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Anyway, but yeah, so that was a highlight of Harrogate. But the big negative of Harrogate and honestly, it makes me want to cry. We were at the spa. Oh. Very yeah. nice spa, Rudding Park. We just sat there, got recognised a few times in the spa, very embarrassing with his T-shirt on. I'm, I'm a paunch. <laughs> yeah. um, and I was basically sat in having a bit of food and about 12 like leaves just came off a tree and just like meandered past the window. Wow. And just said like, basically almost knocked on the window and said like, autumn's here. Yeah, oh my God. That was that was me on the golf course as well. I was like, "Oh my!" Because I hadn't, you know, I hadn't seen sneaks up on you. Yeah, yeah, it just sneaks up on you. Like I swear, in like Walton Heath, it was just, like there was no there's no trees. <laughs> well, no, 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 there are a few trees, but I suppose they're not really leaves. Pine, they're not, yeah, yeah, they're pine yeah. and all that. But, but yeah, they're I'm, more deciduous trees. Actually. Yeah, and it's like this this time of year. I, I don't just, know if that's right. I was I getting them it. off, getting them off the. Um, off the green to for the putt, so I was like, yeah. oh my God. Did you hit the green? A lot of trees on this. There is a lot of trees there on this, yeah. 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 I know, yeah. I've hit most of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, here. So, are you excited about, you know, spooky season? And I, hate, a, I hate it. And are you excited about um, pumpkin spice lattes, no. Peter? No. no. Have you done a boo basket for Carly? No. You have? A what? A boo basket? Yeah. What is that? Oh my God. Have you not been seeing these on TikTok? No. no. Right. So I don't know if it's just, it's an excuse for, you know, women to ask their partners get a present. to get me a thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like, buy I'm, me. I'm sure men can ask as well. Oh, well, yes, you, of course you can. Yes. I would, if, in fact, I'm going to get Lauren to make me one instead. There you yeah. go. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, can she make us one as well? Yeah, yeah, so basically it's like a, a basket of things that you would associate with the autumn or, you know, with this period of the year. Halloween. So it's like a, a nice, a nice, like fluffy blanket. Ooh. orange or brown because it's autumn yeah. right some socks candle you know some chocolates hot chocolate maybe bubble some snacks bath. flowers bubble bath all of this stuff put it in a basket ship it off to the lady <laughs> she's happy <laughs> love that off to the lady yeah. well, you know what fine you know if that's what you want to do then great if i could hibernate between now and spring even if it meant I, I lost, you know, all that time in my life, I'd consider it. So you went, <laughs> you went like that, mm. and you wake up, and it's the end of uh, it's wait, March. Way more for Christmas. Oh, now <laughs> see, now you can't have it both ways, sir. Well, no, because I'll be hungry about that point. <laughs> wait, wait more for Christmas. You're like a bear, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go back. Did our bears eat loads of grass before they go into hibernation so it plugs their butthole up? Man, <laughs> so, they so they don't poo. <laughs> just, 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 just like you are today. Um, Good yeah, fact. this. This oh this time of year does does nothing for me. I just hate I hate when trees are shed it because they're like the, when trees shed their leaves, they're yeah. practically dying for a few months. What they're doing is they're preparing to rejuvenate. Yeah, and you know what? You, it's definitely you could look at it as glass half full. Yeah, but I'm seeing that glass emptying, and I'm seeing the leaves come down, and I'm seeing my ball getting lost underneath it. I'm seeing the rain pouring in. I'm seeing the temperature dropping. I'm seeing the fact that you won't be able to play golf into the evenings. You get up in the morning. It's going to be dark. It's just the worst time of the year. I hate the sun and I hate our rotation around it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I, I, I wouldn't dispute that. It's not my favourite time of the year, but you clearly have some kind of uh, <laughs> just, deep just, seated issues that you need to go to therapy for. I need to, uh, <laughs> oh no, in, in the past, were you locked in the cellar as a kid between in, these? It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, I, I, I hate it. I yeah. yeah. like that. You yeah. really liked it. Get yeah. me a book and I'm fine. But no, I think well, read Car that book a lot. Carly has suggested I go see a therapist. I think it's like seasonal yeah, disorder. Yeah, season, yeah there's, there is something about the weather. Seasonal affective disorder. Yeah, I'm not like. I, I'm not quite to that point. I'm just, I just don't like it. And no, I yeah, so, you're, so you're, allowed, you're allowed not to like things, but you should be this, careful. This one hits how home, you yeah. explain it. This one hits. It's like I hate the seasons. You crazy person. <laughs> no, no, I do. Autumn <laughs> sucks. Okay, cool. Autumn, autumn's got nice little, little moments, little speckled little moments that will pop up that are nice. But apart now, from that, yeah, it's just a bit. I think it, what it is is like it's you waiting for something which is awesome. You're, you're preparing now for 
watching The Grinch for the first time. <laughs> you're watching the Harry Potter <laughs> marathon over Christmas. Oh my God, you're a winter person. I was born in December. Oh. I hate the sun. Yeah, you, this is your time now, isn't it? <laughs> this is literally yeah. it for me. Realize you know this. when we go, to, you know when we go to all these really hot foreign countries to film golf stuff. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> why do I have this to wear is shorts? So disappointed. <laughs> I didn't realize this. I do, when we go on holiday um, to Portugal, it's like I'm seeing you for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> when we go to Portugal, me and Lauren, she sits and sunbathes all day. I sit in the shade. <laughs> The, the curtain has well and truly been pulled away from you now. Yeah. It's, it's, everything this, seems so clear. This is so disappointing. Oh, no. You know, I, I enjoy the summer because it means you can go and do things because it's not raining quite as much. Wow. But as soon as... But, but my perfect weather. Mm, perfect weather. Warm clouds. Yes. But you don't get that in autumn. It's, it's just... It's just clouds I would, cold. I, would, I would rather wear my north face jacket than wear shorts how about that <laughs> that is a, mm. that is a, this other jackets are available that is an foot joy absolute <laughs> disgrace i can't believe anybody likes or g4 water more than yeah, summer. G4, yeah. Oh, yeah, i don't i wouldn't say more i wouldn't say more right, i would okay. say that like i like winter more listen maybe you can change my mind about it if you keep feeding me positive information about autumn maybe i'll come around again okay but all i've done this morning is spent planning how we're going to get away in October. Yeah. So, All the plans on here are like, uh, let's leave. My, like, my favourite <laughs> thing of this morning is that you've planned that and then decided to write November trip as well. <laughs> like, that's was, not enough. Yeah. It was raining. It was raining quite heavily this morning. Um, so, yeah. I decided to get away. I can't see a November. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, are we going it, to all those places? It has yeah, got, one go. I, I would have to say it's got two question marks next to it, which is like a double question. Like, Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They probably can't see the board from... That, no, no, from no, that no, angle, but Pete wrote down a ridiculous course that you might try and go and play when you're in um, the US of A. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to try and get. To, uh, I mean, the, to be honest, like the next few weeks, we've got Spain this week, uh -huh. Solheim mm -hmm. Cup. Yep. Rome next week. Yep. For I believe the Ryan Cup. Um, that the is happening. Yeah. Week after that, we're going to try and get to Florida for ten days. Yep. Then we come back mm -hmm. and i am you're in, in spain london then actually going on a proper holiday are you now i saw this in the calendar <laughs> <Damn. laughs> i saw Do this you know what's even better about it is that where he's staying is in such an isolated area that there is no phone signal <gasps> which you're gonna you say, are gonna struggle i was gonna say are you gonna do a david and know, mute the group chat. he told me oh really I looked it up. <laughs> oh, no, honestly, I'm I'm so stressed out about it. I might not even look forward to it. I'm not I'm not, I'm not even so like So you're going on holiday with, with Carly? I'm going with the whole, others, whole family. Yeah. With the whole family. Whole family. Okay. Family. And and you're not gonna look forward to it because you won't be able to boss her, us around for a week. No, it's it's not it's not that. It's just I, I find it very hard to just like not do anything. To let not, us not relax. Let us group of three not, and a half grown ups. <laughs> run things for a week. I mean, that that, that yeah, is David part David does it. need to mature a bit. <laughs> like Girl, that is, David, for God's sake. That is part of it. But I'm, I'm not... Because it's like it's a Spanish holiday as well. Uh, so, we go, we're going so, to, hold on, so hold on. Let me think then. So you would rather... You would rather be here, right? Stressing about content, thumbnails, I mean, you know, titles, thinking it's, about... It's, you're thinking also about your golf game, about how much you're not playing golf. You'd rather be doing that than eating paella and gnashing on sangria and having a great time. <laughs> Um, <laughs> to a certain point. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, think right. So, so my, my thing is like, I, I understand better this year that I do have to take breaks. No. My, when, when did, my therapist. Said, when did you take any of those breaks this year? <laughs> now I'm taking it in October. <laughs> so stop stressing me out about me stressing, not stressing. <laughs> so I've got like a week, got a week in Spain and I, I have a, like, if I'm by a pool okay, and I'm sitting there, Okay, let's say I'm sitting there for about an hour. After an hour, not, to be honest, after 15 minutes, <laughs> You're I'm done like, with it. <laughs> now what? what am I now going to do? Oh. Because the sun has blessed me with its presence. I've looked at the water and it's kind of like, well, now I'm just sitting. Like I might as well be a rock. Do you not read or? Oh, no. Like, so I'm going to, my suitcase is just going like to have 30 bucks. books. Yeah. That's it. Extra yeah. extra luggage for books. Yeah, let me, it's basically let, what it's I can, be. I can solve that real big hand luggage, right? Just get a Kindle. <laughs> Don't believe in Kindles. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not a Kindle. Don't I, I want like, the book in my hand. I like to feel the paper in between. My you want to sniff that yeah, library the, the, smell. The smell of a book mm. is, yeah, good. is fantastic. Good. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink. I'm going to probably do 16 lengths to try and not go mad. <laughs> and I'm going to 
let you guys handle stuff and hope that the channel still exists. That when things you get don't wait, burn. <laughs> I mean, we, we basically run it anyway, so it's not no, really well, like... There, there was a point last year where, where I did go away, I think. You went to Turkey. Turkey, yes, yeah. at the end of the year, and I completely left in your guys' hands, yeah. and everything you came to fun. It was still here. Yeah. Yeah, no one uh, pressed and, delete and, channel. Uh, and Cro <laughs> and Croatia the year before. Yeah. Croatia the year before. So, did so did you... Uh, did oh, you, yeah, Croatia, that was yeah. good. Did you say to Carly, oh, can we all go away together, or did she invite you on the trip? Now, that's the real question, because otherwise, it, you don't want to go. It was a family-organized trip. Okay. I didn't have any hand in the yeah, planning. So yeah, so this is it. But... Uh, it is near Granada. I'm looking forward to going to Granada. Yeah. I've never been. It looks like a beautiful place. Great car, that Ford but, but that's the thing. That's why I like to go places and actually have stuff to do. Like right, look okay. around. And so like, actually, it's not It's not that you you are a... You, you, you just don't want to sit still. You're a little bit workaholic, but it's not that you're workaholic. It's that your brain can't switch itself off. Uh, no, but but I also like work. Yeah. But that that's, that's as far as like, if I wasn't doing this, mm. I'd try and find something that I enjoy because I enjoy work. Because if you don't work, like... Is like what? Well, yeah, what's the point? You know what I mean, <laughs> you got to have there's, some there's, sort of project going on. There's a reason that people retire and then die because they've got nothing Ooh. to do. Okay, then, cool. You know what I mean, you got to keep yourself active. Yeah, I'd just like to, to take do. this moment to congratulate my mother on retiring last <laughs> month. Uh, enjoy your time, on, on. Helen. <laughs> yeah, but she's got stuff to do. You know Helen's what I mean? a legend. She's doing stuff. She's she golfing. What, you know she's what she does? She golfs exactly. and she buys. A lot of fudge. Yeah, I yeah, need exactly. to bring that in. There's still loads left out. Yeah, shout out to Helen for walking around that course with us at the PGA. She was an absolute still legend. Still, I don't even So that's the thing, yeah. So, like, when I eventually retired in 98, you know, I'm still going to have to do stuff to keep myself going. I, I, when yeah. the, when the channel this, is, stops. this is going so far away from golf, <laughs> but YouTube, I agree. When YouTube you do shuts need down. To, you do <laughs> need to keep me body moving yeah, and you, keep doing stuff mentally. you got, you got to do stuff. Like, a long weekend is a perfect amount of time to be off. Do you know what you need? You need one of those crossword books, oh. and you need that quiz podcast. Uh, I did tell Carly about the quiz podcast. The quiz. If you if you've ever wa actually, I do. I don't know if I want to share it because you know I want to gatekeep it a little bit. Um, and also, as a rival podcast. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, yeah, listen it's, to us. It's very different. Um, it's called Takeaway Trivia, and it's basically a pub quiz in a podcast. So you do one each week, and the guy's from Hereford, where you're from. Yeah, yeah. Where, I don't know him. Where but... Yoda's from? And well, maybe I do know him. R two D two. R two D two. That's right. <laughs> And Ellie Golding. I'm I, sure. Yeah, Ellie Golding. I, <laughs> I think we should probably move on. Um, yeah. Well, there is someone who has had quite a bit of time off recently who has actually probably rejuvenated his golf career a little bit in, in Justin Thomas. Oh, well done. Because there was, yeah, thank you. Well there was done, another sir. golf event this, this week on the PGA Tour, which well, it feels like it. after the playoffs and the FedEx was done, it feels like it just doesn't come back for eight. But actually, it's right back with us again. Yeah. At the, was it the Fortinet? Yeah. The Fortinet. I mean... <laughs> probably, should, the Fortinet. probably should point out in the Fortinet uh, championship mm -hmm. um, is not the strongest field on the on the PJ Tour. It's not, means. no, but that's a decent player, isn't it? But Sahith has been banging on the door of mm. winning for a long time and mm. he managed to get over the line. I think everyone's pretty happy about that because mm. Sahith Fagala is a very like, likable man. Uh, yes. A lot of everyone's oh. favourite players. He was like, nice I, I remember watching him in, was he in Full, was swing. full swing where he yeah. was like, I don't know why I'm a professional golfer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, why am I here? <laughs> he, <laughs> like, You're very good. You're he good. was one of the guys we interviewed at the Open as well mm. and he was one of the guys who, even after we stopped recording, just carried on chatting. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so good. That. So he... he Obviously, had a lot of time for people. He was the first guy that you saw, like first professional golfer you ever saw when we were walking to. Oh my god, the that's open. so yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, he was walking with his family to the um, open Hoy uh, through Hoylake. Yeah, yeah. And we were driving past on the way into into town, and he was he was, was, he was just like miles away. Yeah, he was a long way away. A couple of miles he was out, just crossing the road. And Kieran goes, "Hey, look, it's Satith uh, Sagala." A couple of miles away. Yeah, no, no, he, was, was, he, was, he really was. He was. He was. He was. I can guarantee he was not a couple of miles away. Yeah, no, well, no, no, I'll tell no, you where he was. Yeah. You know that pub? He was quite far. He was, he you know, all the way out of town. You turn right out of town, and there's the the pub that's like we haven't changed our prices for the yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma that massive pub that's massive where pub. he was yeah. Yeah. that's what? miles away the from one, the course the one that one let us in no 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 no. oh no we're going probably a couple more miles further yeah, than yeah, that exactly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couple miles down okay, a couple yeah. miles down there on the right did yeah, you that see was, that was very um, did you see all of his his like dad's social um, content I from did. the no yeah, oh, yeah. so was good he, like, like, he was just every, <laughs> yeah. yeah he was just dancing and just like yeah. great now yeah. every birdie oh, party was like running devil. around like high-fiving everyone like yeah. it was so good yeah. it was like a lovely lovely yeah. like a lovely family yeah really, they, they really did come up in the full swing didn't they a little bit and stuff and it was 
a yeah someone you you feel that you really want to root for 100 mm, really want to root just for. a just a lovely lovely guy um yeah. and then obviously like jt as well it's great to, great to see um the form back of is uh, it of him well, is well it for you for, for europe no is it for europe <laughs> no. let's be honest do you want him to still suck going into the Ryder yeah. Cup? yes please uh, yeah, yeah. yeah as, as soon as the Ryder cup's over like yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see him back to his yeah. best but yeah. until that point <laughs> just hold off for like three more weeks yeah. and then you just up. remain rubbish <laughs> no you know it's, it is nice because again he's a very likable player i know he's a favorite player for a lot of people and in terms of Americans, I can actually tolerate him all right, so mm. I don't mind him doing all right. But he was, yeah, he was up there. What did he finish fifth, fifteen yeah, under? Finished fifth and then had a le- level par final round, which yeah. obviously in very Tommy Fleetwood style on yeah. the, the American tour. But, but no, uh, he's um one of the rounds as well. He hit seventeen out of eighteen greens, which is pretty unreal. So I like how you I like how you're getting so partisan already. I would, we're a few weeks out. Oh, you're already for the next deep in Team Europe. Yeah, yeah. For the next like two, three weeks, it's completely about Europe. You know, so you're, you're, you're the most American person. Yeah, do you know you're wearing <laughs> yeah. you're wearing an, an a New an York NFL. Giants yeah. <laughs> jumper, yeah. and you're wearing a random golf club from America hat. Yeah. So mm. does anyone does anyone feel um, like more confident about the Ryder Cup by Team Europe yeah. or? Yeah, be, just keep, more just keep the uh, my, keep the yeah. hype pumping. Mine's gone from like if you're gonna talk in like if we're gonna go from like odds. Mine's gone from like three for Europe, one point five for um, for USA. Now it's like one point nine, two point one. So okay. so you're getting I'm, closer. I'm getting mm. so much closer to even now. Are you going to do a right. betting breakdown for the Ryder Cup, Jacob? I can do one. If, if be, the people want it, that would be lovely. <laughs> How would you? Because the people, the people, the people, the people are still living off their Brian well, Harmon money. You're right, so. Europe to win. <laughs> yeah, but, um, no, I can. I'll get you some top point scorers for Europe and America. I can yeah, do one of that. Think, yeah, like we, a, should, we should definitely do a couple that. of betting options. US, be US haven't won away in thirty years. Yeah, so. no. and you still have them favourites. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's still, because Brooks is playing. No, no, no. Still, even if Brooks wasn't playing, still they're nah, still no. they are still favourites. No, we'll kill them. Europe, Europe. In my head, we're always going to win as soon as we went there and saw it. Nah. As soon as we played it, it was like, you know what? Nah. We've blessed it. Europe are going to win. Yeah, but Brian Harmon wasn't in the team at that point. Brian yeah. Harmon is going to win every single one of his matches. He's no, he's not. Are you he's going to get shafted. Are you American? No, no, no. But <laughs> was, like, I mean, you've got, to be, you've got to be realistic about it. Like, like he, why, why, he is going why, to be... He is going to be I'm real around that goal, of course. Why? So he had an amazing Open Championship and yeah. he's been pretty consistent this year. Yeah. So he's good. And it's like suits him as well because like driving accuracy and stuff like that and like greens and regs. So. No. I think he'll, I think he'll do well around it's, there. Yeah. I, yeah. Think, I think he'll it's, be fine. No. For my personal opinion, it's evened out a lot over the over the last week. Like Very impressed with um, with how everyone has been playing. No, I think he'll shoot level. But I am, I am still US. Just, just, just. But obviously, I want Europe to win. It's just been so long that they've won in Europe, and I just don't see why mm. this team is going to change that. No, I, but no, we'll, I see, we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. I, I, We've got other golf to see before that. But I, I do think it's going to be a very, very good ride. Golf. Yes, I, I do. Agree. I yeah. think it's going to be close. I agree. Yeah. Um, um, none of us, are, you, you're, you and David are going, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So I think we'll try and get some podcasting done over there. Oh, yeah. I think so. I mean, we might as well when we're on the ground because I'm you, pretty sure. You, David, and Luke Donald. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Me and, and Zach. S- <laughs> Imagine if you got both of them, that would be wild. Uh, I'm gonna get David would be sat there like <laughs> You can get like Sebs going and stuff like that. Like, There's a lot of content creators I'm, going. So. I'm, I must be honest, I think... I'm, you know what? I'm not going to make any promises about doing the podcast because I've got a fear that it might just descend mm. into a little bit of chaos because mm. there's a lot of people in our industry, in the creator industry, going over. And to be honest, as far as I'm aware, nobody's doing any work. <laughs> so when you get that many people in the same field with nothing to do, yeah. the one place they're going to go is hospitality. Yep. And it's going to be bish, bash, bosh, go <laughs> on Europe, and all that kind of jazz. So, hmm. Hot dog eating contest, I reckon. Yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. But I am I am over there with BMW, and I know they have some stuff for me to do. So it might be one of those things where they're like, hey, Pete, we're going to need you at um, 7 p.m. to do an interview with uh, oh Luke God, Donald. Can you think of anything worse? And I'm, when know, everyone else is just tanking out, and you have to sit there and stay day, sober. All day, you've got to stay sober, yeah. Mm. I'm very easily led as well. So yeah, I might are, be well, yeah. six gin and tonics in by this point, standing on the top of the Coliseum. like, yeah, I'll make it. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> like an episode of The Hangover. David just dragging you around. 
around. Maybe just David do it for you. Well, we're not really. I'm, you know, I've seen David kind of cut loose a couple of times, but David's quite. He's quite a solid person when he's had a few drinks. Right. He's not like. He's not flailing lips. He's not wayward. It becomes more solid. Does it? Yeah. He, he knuckles down. <laughs> Tense, is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you like you see him sat down. You're like, that's a solid man. That's a unit. Yeah, he's not had anything to drink. Yeah, he's like yeah. a fridge with arms. Yeah, he's like he's there. He's there. He's immovable. Yeah. Like him and that stool, one Do you know table, what? arm looks, resting. He looks Guinness like he there. can make a mean thumbnail, that guy. I think he does. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see what he's like when he's also surrounded by a lot more chaotic people. Yeah, he's um, he's. It's going to be very interesting to see him in that environment. Of the of all of us, mm. he's the one who I I would say would enjoy that situation the least. So that could be interesting. Uh, yeah, but you just never know, David. David is a changed man recently. He is. He's a changed he's man. He's a wild card now. Uh, there's a, he's a, a lot loose of, cannon. A lot of calls for him to be a regular on the podcast now as well. I yeah. heard these calls, yeah. and I'm listen. I'm I'm not against them either. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, who, we can sub in and sub out like him. Who's yeah. going to be our age for Moronk? <laughs> 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 who's going to be the guy who misses out for no reason? <laughs> It's difficult. We just have to toss a coin or roll yeah, the dice. Let, or let us know in the comments. Oh, because, oh, this, you know, oh, no, no, please don't let us know in the comments. No, that's an <laughs> awful thing to say. That's the worst thing is it to not, do. Oh, right, sorry. Um, what people, Jacob, gone. What people, Mick, gone. What people yeah. don't know is this table actually extends. So. Oh, we'll get someone <laughs> in the middle. Wow, you think we get three... We can't do a five-way podcast. Of course so we bloody can. It's going to be noise. That's gonna be, it's more like a crowd. <laughs> yeah, great. It's like a football stadium. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> So we'll try and do some podcasts if over there, you, but um, no promises. If by the chance that you, when you go, mm. uh, and I don't think he's going to be there, but if Tiger Woods is walking around, could you have a little word with him for I me? Mean, yeah, talking about... Because uh, okay, he's we, really we, wound me up this week. He's riled us. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, we did mention this to start with. Um, so how long has it been going for? Okay, so... Oh, we're, yeah, we're so great time. We're finally getting to Tiger. Um, yeah, he... Uh, a couple of things on this. I just want to bookend this particular part. Great to see him back on a driving range. Mm. Great to see him with a club in his hand, actually talking and doing golf things. Oh my God, I hadn't even thought of that. Magnificent. Yeah, th that's the thing. Like what he said is kind of overshadowed it a little yeah. bit in our mind. So it's great to see him. Hopefully he'll be back soon. But as long as he's up and about and being Tiger Woods, yeah, he, that's all we need. He walked for. 18 holes with Charlie Woods the other day as well. Did like is a, he related? Yeah, he was doing like a, they were doing like <laughs> an 18 hole Competition or something like that, and scramble. Then, yeah, no. Did, on, well, no, he wasn't. He wasn't playing. Do you, but. Do you not like Charlie Woods? Because that's the first time I've heard you actually refer to one as a full name. Uh, it seems very official. Oh no, no, no. I think maybe just back and he's got used to not yeah, saying no, full no, name now. Yeah, no, no. Tiger Woods and Charlie Woods. You know, the Woods. Any of the Woods family, you got a three Wood. The wood yeah. The to wood. be, to to be fair, if names. there was actually any golfer that you don't have to say the surname, Tiger is probably well, the one. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but no, Charlie Woods. Yeah. In all fairness, I can't really. There's no real modern golfers called Charlie, so Charlie could claim the. He could, Charlie, yeah, could Charlie get hold of that. Yeah. Let me think. In the in the male game. Yeah. So Tiger. On the driving range was asked a question about you know how to get better at golf, mm. and his response was there was an expletive in there, so we won't repeat it verbatim. But Tiger said that if you want to improve in golf, don't watch YouTube and get yeah. to the driving range and start digging the dirt, start bashing the balls. I mean. <sighs> In in a literal sense, then yes, you need to hit balls to get better at golf. So I'm not quite sure what his pure intentions were with it. It just seemed that there was something that he's had like an interaction or some it, hatred about you YouTube. You know what? It, I, that was I, his I, first answer to like. I think what's happened here, and I, I, I don't you know normally back myself in what's the word? Not not exactly gossip, but when you're preempting something, you're trying to predict what's right. the word i'm looking for um speculate for, for speculate speculate great word great. it's like grammar great word. Word. <laughs> <laughs> that what was that word that you said the other day it was like uh, uh, cataclysmic yeah, yeah i'm real that that was very good very good so i don't normally like to uh speculate on this type of thing uh -huh. but i think what caused this particular cataclysm of a comment <laughs> was god i think like charlie has been like struggling with yeah. his pitching. It's like, oh, I wonder what to do. Now, rather than like asking Pops and just heading to the range, I reckon 
like Tiger's seen over his shoulder, a bit of swing quest action going on. <laughs> and he's like, what are you watching that for? Is that Peter Finch and Fred Lindblom working out? Yeah. How to- <laughs> Is that <laughs> 30 minute chipping lesson? Jokers. <laughs> <laughs> like, Charlie, you've got me here. You've yeah. got Tigers. I, oh. I am the best short game in the world. Like, why I think are you you're watching right. those it was a, It was a person, he took it as a personal insult. Yeah, I, I think so. He, like, dad, than- dad was too busy. Yeah. Well, oh, wow. You Dad know. was too busy to come out with me onto the range. He's not doing anything right now. Oh, he's recuperating. So I reckon Charlie's been on there trying to learn some things. Yeah. And he's maybe done something. And Tiger's like, what are you doing there? He said, oh, I saw it on Swing Quest. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> how many bugs got to hit it? Yeah. Um, and Tiger's gone, no. So as soon as that question came up, he's like, right. I'm stop having stop it. watching I'm YouTube. Yeah, he may as well have said comma. He said, said what he said and then put comma, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. I would agree with Tiger yeah. in some respects. Yeah, I, I have a I have a stance on this also. Yeah. yeah. So I think what a lot of people do, and this is common not just in golf, this is common in everything, as far as if you need help doing something, like watching an instructional video can only take you so far. And I think what a lot of people do is watch instruction video after instruction video in the hope that by watching those videos, mm. by some kind of os- osmosis, yeah. you're going to get better. When in fact, nothing will change. Mm-hmm. If you watch 100 videos on how to fix a slice, nothing will change unless you stick 100 hours into actually trying to fix it. Yeah. So I agree with um, I agree with Tiger in that respect. What I wouldn't agree with him in respect of is in YouTube, in golf, absolutely, but in a whole, as far as all sports are concerned, you start to get guys coming through now and girls who have not had access to coaching mm-hmm. as kids and have actually basically built their whole games and started to get better at their sports by watching YouTube instructional yep, videos. For free. K- kids who grew up on yeah. the internet are now breaking through it's onto the tools. Mm-hmm. And, and there's, there's no difference. There's absolutely no difference between generational um, kind of learning when you say someone from the 50s learning golf, they might learn it from a magazine. 90s they probably learn it from one of, those, one of those flip books which yeah. is like sh- <laughs> showing you showing you, know, you swing positions and that was you've got to watch it really fast and then try and do it and that was it's the like same a black one. and white stop motion do, 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 that do, do, was the do, same do, do, until like the 80s <laughs> when people started watching VHS and then DVDs and then this thing called the internet came are you saying the tiger's showing his age is that I think so <laughs> he's getting yeah, a grumpy old man I would say I'm, so yeah, I think that also, do you think that he was thinking about like, instead of like watching it, actually get a lesson from an actual one like yourself, like in person sort of thing? One like yourself? Yeah. Pot- you know, like in person, like a PGA pro, I, I, like actually go into someone and actually, you know, inspecting sort of on one on yeah, one. Be, yeah, yeah, the one being on there physically. Sort of I, think, yeah. I think that's mm. what he's trying to get at. Really. I, ju- I, think, I think the the underlying thing is, is just basically go and hit golf balls. Yeah. I think it's more the, the point of what he was making. But the way, obviously, the reaction of, of social media was like, Tiger always hates YouTube and all the content that's produced is <laughs> rubbish. You know, and you know, he you know doesn't what's like hilarious this. is that I like, I like thinking about him um, of course, he is talking about instructional videos, but I like thinking about him hating course vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> oh, I could, I could say, Do you want to get better oh, at golf? Brilliant. None of that record breakers. <laughs> F that off. <laughs> None of that greatest golf, best golfer on YouTube. Sack that off and all. I tell you what, go and hit balls instead. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not true. Oh, yeah. Tiger slams YouTube golfers. Yeah, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm, in a world I'm, exclusive, Tiger Woods watched a nine-hole scramble at Flixton Golf Course and lost the plot <laughs> as he screamed I mean, down the camera. To be fair, he never said golf YouTube. Maybe he just hates YouTube in general. Yeah, he's like, that, that general. Mr. Beast can't stand him. <laughs> that Don't hit balls. <laughs> Northern uh, Tiger. Yeah, 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 like side, yeah. man. Tiger. <laughs> side, man. What side you're on? <laughs> side at range, you should be, our kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Charlie. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's an interesting one. And obviously, because Tiger said it. It's gone it, mad. It makes a difference. It, but as you, as you say about, like, picturing him watching court, uh, in my head now, I've just got to hear that he watches Rick us like, every, like he just like look. I want I wanted him to I wanted I was actually going to talk to Kieran about doing a like a obviously fake overdub where it's like if, if you want to get better at golf don't watch effing YouTube apart from Peter Finch <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah 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 I'm sure we can AI that yeah, oh, exactly yeah, 100% like, we, can make that, we can make that happen easily unless it's the rough cut golf podcast <laughs>
He's just fed up hearing the theme tune around the Woods household. He's like, I'll are you listening again. to that I'll podcast again? again. <laughs> 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 Turn that off! <laughs> Screaming up the stairs. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> you best not be listening to that, Rothko. <laughs> I won't be out in my house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's, it's amazing how many accents Tiger Woods has. Oh, yeah, no, Mostly <laughs> British as well. Some of, them, some of them he sounded like a northerner. Some of them he yeah. sounded like particularly like your dad. Some of them he sounded like Country. Elrond. Yeah. Elrond. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So, yeah, listen. Um, Thanks for listening, Charlie, by the way. What, what would be great oh, if, so you know, funny. if uh, Tiger came on the podcast to, uh, you know, fully explain. <laughs> yeah, this table does his, extend. His stance. <laughs> it does extend. We could have David and Tiger right here. <laughs> What in the middle? Oh my God! Let's put David next to him. David oh. next to Tiger. Good Lord! If I, oh God! Just can I show you, how, <laughs> Mr. Woods? Can I show you how to do this tracer? <laughs> <laughs> just love that. Oh, it'd be so good. You have, to, yeah. you have to make sure that the null is close to where the ball is. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah, Tiger, you don't like it because you don't understand. But watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your winning shot from 1999. <laughs> yeah, I put it into mid journey, and that ball does go in. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear right um after that i think we should probably round up with guess the player now have you got an intro so do we need to explain what guest player is the scores and everything else we were here at like 10 to 7 this morning 10 to 8 this morning sorting it all out so don't you worry wow i got you covered mm. it's listen do you need a laptop i don't need the laptop i've got my own okay um if during the last eight weeks i had not done any preparation for this then you could maybe have a go at me, but it's been so long since we last done a guest of player. Of course, of course, maintenance. Old <laughs> of course God, yeah. maintenance has been going on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they've literally punched the greens and twice. Reco- yeah, wow. never, yeah, yeah, never covered and twice. Come back Impressive. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, we are. Yeah. We are. Could hand, you hand out, hand again. out these pen and papers while I play you the intro. Hello, and welcome back to the 2023 Rough Cut Open. I'm your host, Mick Warwick. This is the game where your knowledge of golf history is more important than your ability to actually hit the ball. How the game works. At the end of each episode, I describe the life and career of a famous golfer and, after each clue, these accomplished players write down who they think it is. However many hints it takes them to get home is how many shots they took on that hole. So, if you get a par 5 after just 4 clues, you would finish that hole in 1 under par. Through 4 tough holes, including a terrifying par 5 start, we have a clear leader, tour veteran Peter Finch at 3 under. Lagging behind at five over is fan favorite Kieran Mulhall with Jacob Broadbridge even par. Today's hole is the first par three of the round. However, it is a long one at 187 yards into the wind. Let's rejoin the action as the players reach the elevated 15. Wow. Welcome to the tea, everyone. Very wow. good, mate. Very good. I, I don't know if that was... Absolutely incredible, bordering on too much effort. <laughs> I can't, I can't quite figure that one out. Yeah, nice. This is, this is actually right like, on the money. This is like my dream. That was incredible. Like to, it, it. It, it's got the kind of epic music behind it. You're kind of telling a story. I get to use my eloquent reading voice. Amazing. <laughs> great. Love it. Love it. Love tall it. skills. Yes. I was born for this. <laughs> What's this? A par three? It's a par three. Par three. Um, it's 187 yards. Tricky. It's an elevated T, okay. mm. right? Playing a bit less, but into but wind. But it's wind into. <sighs> Those are hard to judge. Yeah, horrible. hard to so judge because you don't judge. know if you're going to get gusty, That's wusty or not. Sit up there for yeah, ages. That yeah. might it might float a little. Yeah. Um, right, what are we hitting off the first of uh, of the T? I'm I'm I mean after the start that I've made, I know we've had the rain delay, but I'm I'm absolutely pumping right now. So yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go solid six, mate. You're hitting six. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm in a punchy five. Punchy I'll hit a four. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little hybrid. A hard one. one. <laughs> <laughs> hard four. Love it. A um, low four. <laughs> yeah, a trappy one. Below the wind. <laughs> okay, a right. A thin, basically. Yeah, a thin. Yeah. A tee shot coming up. Here we go. <clears throat> this Scottsdale, Arizona's residents' favorite sport teams are the Seattle Seahawks and the Seattle Mariners despite being born in Washington State. Uh, you know, yeah. Seattle's in Washington State. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he lives in Scottsdale, in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. Sorry. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's, a, that's a bit of a tricky one, that one, though. 
I imagine there's he a doesn't... lot of golfers that live in Scottsdale. Arizona. I imagine he doesn't get to see his teams play very often. <laughs> is he a follower of the uh, Seattle Sea Wolves? Which is the t shirt <laughs> I've got on today. Yeah, what, what the is Seattle that? Sea Wolves? Uh, this is the rugby team in Seattle. Team. No, it's not. <laughs> wow. I actually thought that was a knockoff Seahawks top. No. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. I thought I knew all my fellow Hawks, actually, but apparently not. No, no. I think it's six sign. I think it's stalled in the wind a touch, though. I, th- I don't think you took enough club. Uh, I think Jacob took too much. I think Kieran hit the right shot. Now, this is the one where if I have an early guess, I can replace it, can't I? Yeah, so how the game works is you'll write down a answer after each shot. If you write an answer for the next one, you are taking another shot. If you draw a line, you're assuming that the one above it is correct. But there's nothing to say that you can't have five names different names. People that are in but your Scottsdale, last, but your last name is the one I would take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone for it. Well, yeah, just because I can, I always know I can hit an approach. So yeah, so yeah. I, I don't think that's right. I think you. I, I think you're sure. Okay. It's a false front as well, so I think you're... Oh, I hate false fronts. You hate a false front. Okay. How are we feeling? Yeah, well... Yeah, we're, we're I've right. hit it. We'll oh, wait till we get up to the green. We all know it's a difficult hole. We'll, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, no wait, expectations. we'll wait till we get up to the green. I've, okay. hit, I've hit ball. Yeah, you, you made contact. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Excellent. Divot? We'll find out in a minute. You didn't take a divot. I never do. <laughs> oh, right, okay. It's <laughs> not a great sign. It's not a sign of quality ball striking that. Okay, shot number two. You should be up near the green somewhere. At the 2019 Wells Fargo Championship, stop looking at my... Sh- oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, Keep I'm, your I'm, eyes I'm, away from the computer, you big cheater. I mean, if I, if I could see your screen, I don't even think you'd be angry. I think you'd be wondering at my new scientific breakthrough. <laughs> no, what I'll do is I'll dock your shots for cheating. Wow. It's going to Patrick Reed me. <laughs> no, you're going to Patrick Reed yourself, brother. <laughs> at the 2019 Wells Fargo Championship, this play- player finished second to Max Homer. Who got his first career uh, career PGA Tour win by three strokes? What Max Homer was what? At the 2019 Wells Fargo Championship, this player finished second to Max Homer, who got his first PGA right. Tour win by three strokes. Wow, that's not, that's, it's not getting any easier. That's so he finished second in 2019. I think you duffed your chip before. If I'm completely honest with you, I mean, I've got to be honest. I think I got to my ball. And it's a bit of a stinky lie. <laughs> like my knowledge of the 2019 PJ season maybe isn't as strong as I thought it was. Especially Wells, who finished runner-up at the Wells well, Fargo. Wells Fargo is like my favourite event as well. That's so annoying. <laughs> Into the one golf tournament you watch. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it literally is. Because yeah. Rory, that was Rory's first um, ever PJ Tour win. So, mm. so I always, always watch it. It was, uh, it was Max, well. Max Ma- Homer's Ma- first win. And it was Ricky mm. Fowler's as yeah. well. It was who? Ricky Fowler's. Don't write that. So if I stick a line through this, then that means my first answer is still. Yeah, that means you've hit your tee shot and you think your tee shot's in. I don't know if I've managed to hole my tee shot and I'm just like hitting another ball until I get to the hole. You found another ball. You're like, this could be mine. It's it's a tightless one. It's got to be mine. Yeah, I'm just going to keep my name. I really don't think it is. but I I, I don't think it is, but I'm going to keep my name. cry with laughter if it is. Oh my God, you'll be so far ahead. (laughs) That would be a lucky shot, though. That would be really lucky. I don't, yeah. I don't think this is right. I'll have ricocheted it off a tree. No, you would have, you would have hit a sprinkler. Yeah. Okay, shot number three. You should be putting by now. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. I've just written four and five just to... <laughs> <laughs> in, an, in anticipation. Kieran's okay, got an extra ball in his pocket. <laughs> just in case. He knows for have sure. Have you got to walk back up to the tee? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right. Shot number three. In March 2021... This player won their first PGA Tour title at the Corrales Punta Cana Resort and Club Championship in the Dominican Republic. In March 2021, this player won their first PGA Tour title at the Corrales Punta Cana Resort and Club Championship in the Dominican Republic. I feel like I might have got this, you know. I think I might have got it as well. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to keep my... I'm going to keep... Oh, man. I'm going to keep... I, I, I can't remember that event. Because that's the one that's on at the same time as something else, isn't it? Yes. It's got fantastic trophy, though. It's got the chameleon, hasn't it? 
Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. It was a while oh, ago I, when I researched this. Uh, I think I, I did think, see the trophy I at think, the time. Oh, I think I might go if I just don't know. See, I the only person that I can remember kind of winning that as a like a first uh, was it. Don't say anyone's don't names say out there. No, 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 like Victor. I remember. Yeah, Victor What Victor has, I can see him holding that yeah. trophy. But that's, is that the right one? No, that was his pet chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> Such a boss, he just carries a pet chameleon with him. Over. Is that He's got right, a lizard right with him wherever he goes. I, I think thinking I, of a different one. No, no, I think it's the same. Mm. So and it's is not. It, is this for par? Yeah. That, that's for par, yeah. Yes, your third shot. You what's, be the, it in. what's the like tournament of champions one they do? Isn't oh, that like it's a, in uh, Hawaii. But isn't that like a animal or something? No, I'm not sure. Mm. Don't um, I don't know if there should be this much conferring. <laughs> Sorry. We're, we're not allowed to talk to each other? No, you're green. not allowed to we're say like, partners. you're not allowed to like a hip five. Yeah, hip we're five. playing partners. You're not allowed to do that. Well, unless you're All not right, allowed well, to I've, brooks it. I've, I've kept my name still. Yeah, I mean, uh, listen, I've still not quite got to the hole yet, so I'm not sure if I've got the hole in if one. I, so. If I've made a hole in one, I'm still in disbelief. What, I just don't what know. are the odds of two players making a hole in one on the same hole? That's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> if you know a lot about Scottsdale and Seahawks. I don't know if I've got this. I'm, yeah. so I'm going to be so happy, but I don't think I am. Okay. <clears throat> if you don't get it after that one, you're now going to be over par. Yeah, this is the final one, For isn't the, it? No, there's it, two more. Oh, I thought it was automatic doubles, no? No, no, no. no. So well, that would get, be bogey. Four and five. Yeah, but, but if you get this one wrong, then it's automatic double, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you who it is after this one. Yeah, And yeah. you'll get double. Yeah. <coughs> Please. <laughs> Just Are you like, ready? This is for your one over. This is for your bogey. Shot number four. He was diagnosed with testicular cancer in February 2011, but made a full recovery and returned to the McKenzie Tour, PGA Tour Canada, later that season. I think you all have it. So I'm going to go straight to the one where I give it away for you. If you didn't get it after that one, you got double bogey. Congratulations. Wow. You suck. The unexpected star of Netflix's full swing documentary with his episode entitled Imposter Syndrome. Today's player is Joel Damon. Hole in one, baby. Hole yes. in one. Unbelievable. It must have been pretty foggy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we just couldn't see it. Yeah, we yeah, couldn't yeah. see yeah, there I'm must have been a couple of four caddies up there who rolled it into the hole for you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm having a rough time. <laughs> <laughs> nice hole in one, Jake. You only, dropped one, you, shot, yeah. sir. you only dropped one shot, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they gained four yeah, on you. I, and yeah. I've not gained anything on him. No, you haven't. Yeah. Yeah, Kieran so is... So you're six uh, over. We're having a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> a rough day. Your yeah. real-life golf is far better than yours. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. I, which I'd, have, I'd rather 100%. that way. 100%. I must be honest, Kieran, after this extended rain delay, I'd expected you to at least warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like you guys got it very... It was you just, were lucky to get that. It's just like. Arizona, it was like Arizona, yeah. uh, and the only other person I was seeing, well, Max Homer, but he's obviously from California. So, Fino was the other one I knew, but he was an obviously as well. So it was just like, oh, Damon, give it a go. I had, I had Scheffler as my, as my one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well done. That I'm under par. Very, I'm very good, mate. So happy. <laughs> very, very good. Thank you, sir. And the scoreboard my... here as well. The, the, yeah, we'll put, put the, the scorecard. Score Kieran will put the scoreboard up for us. Very, very. I'm good. sure there's um, some people that are still. I think hole in one in the I, way. I think. <laughs> I think you're. I think you must be five under now. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. five under. Five under. You, five under you were even, so you're two under. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and then I'm Kieran's plus six. Four. You know, you're plus six. Five under through four six. holes. Wow. You five under? I thought you were five under now. <laughs> I'm just El Fuego. So right? I'm eleven shots off you. Which is wild. Don't don't back, worry. Back nine player, aren't you? Don't worry. Whenever I have a good start, I always come back to the back. Yeah, you do. Uh, to try to do, you know what, do you know what we'll do? We'll go back to the old format so that you can win again. Yeah. <laughs> we just need to team up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great idea. We drive Scram. to work. We drive to work every day together. Yes. Why don't I just mm. give you the answers? Please help me out. <laughs> Please just one or two. Tell me where the pin is. We'll do a better ball scramble. <laughs> 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 All right, from now on, me and you. you get to play off the forward tees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed listening to this episode of the Rough Court Gold Podcast, and we will be back next week with, I believe, what will be probably the Solheim Cup roundup. Yeah. Will we? Will we have time to do it next week? Absolutely not, because we're still there on Monday. Yeah, here Completely we are. Forgotten about that. Um, Should we um, take? two of them and do it there? I suppose we could do it on Sunday night, couldn't we? Yeah. Try and rope somebody else in. I mean, we're going to have a lot of people there, aren't yeah, we? So. Me, you, Fred and Hannah? Yeah, do sounds that. good. Um, oh, God, that sounds so go. good. Done? 
which yeah. means we won't, thank you, friend Hannah, for joining. Which you means we it. won't have another guest to play her <laughs> for another three weeks. Oh my god, this thunderstorm <laughs> will not go away. It just keeps. We got looping. one hole in, and then they blow the horn again. <laughs> it just keeps looping back. <laughs> the horns just <laughs> oh get off the course. God, we're watching this on Sky Sports, and oh god, no, they're coming out again. <laughs> Do you know how many reruns they've had to play to, play oh, to cover up for the match? Do you know time? what's even worse? They've roped in Faldo and he's telling a story about that two iron again. Oh, no. Not like the 37th time. Oh, God. He's yeah. turned up in his green jacket. Nick, you own other clothes. <laughs> Just stop. And you could see it out there. And, oh, no. Like this this would be where my, my dad would be like screaming at TV. He said, oh, that thunder's bloody miles away. <laughs> so we didn't even near the course. <laughs> And we have to remove the players for safety. <laughs> we can't allow them to be out there just yeah. in case. It was like, at the, it was like that at the Masters, wasn't it? <laughs> Although a tree did fall down and nearly kill someone. Exactly, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not worth the risk. <laughs> if the no, by the way, there you go. <laughs> There goes us. Ever fill me with Faldo? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, right. So, that's the end of the podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And more importantly, over the course of this week, thank you for just being you. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, we'll see you from Spain. So I'm cool. Enjoy this week's videos. We've got some bangers going. Bye. 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 See bye. Ya. bye. <laughs>